evil transaction. That's what I saw there. What did I call it? Evil transaction. Evil transaction. There is transaction in different dimensions. But what I saw there is that this one is satanic extension of it. And the king said unto her, What Allah did? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. Then verse 20, 29 now said, So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him. And she had heed her son. That's to say she changed her mind. Now, we read it yesterday. Look at two or three things I want to talk about there. I want, to, I want us to look at this very, very important. Two women trying to eat their son, their own children, to extend their life. Two children, two women trying to eat their own children to extend their life is a transaction and is a, also a prayer point. Anybody who wants to use my head to extend their own. Now, wait, does it even happen at an even in this award now? A lady in this house one day told me that the mother, the grandmother sent for her. It's long, the, she saw the grandmom. But because of many stories, that was why they doesn't, go, even when the mom go home, he doesn't go to see the grandmom. A grown-up woman. And uh, she said she wants to go. I told her, I said, when are you going? He said, on Tuesday. I said, no, change it, go on Friday. Did you tell her? I said, yes. She's aware that she'll be coming between Monday or Tuesday. But he said she wants to go on Tuesday. So I prayed for her. I said, you go on Friday. That that's what my spirit told me to tell you. Friday would be better for you to go. Now, Anna asked her, I said, why is it that you don't go and visit her? It's not good. Though. Why will you abandon your grandmother? He said, people, they talk, and, but I don't know. It's even he herself did not agree to that because the mama gave birth to 10 children, whether it's say eight or nine, has died. And the way they died, Bill, I say she, they use their head, they stand. But he said, she refused to believe it as a child of God that how can the mama kill her own children? It's very hard to believe. He said what he called and said, you are my first grandchild. So she wanted to go. I said, okay, Friday you go. So on Thursday, the old woman died. I that, sorry, either that Tuesday or Wednesday, which she's supposed to enter. And they said the woman one day they called the name of this girl, William, William, William. She's, an, she's not available. There was a man I met one day in this city. The man, Hawk, he was hawking Festoy, handkerchief, inside the uh, Ghana must go. Then I was when I used to sell in Amboga. Those days when we have Amboga, I don't know how many of you who know we have Amboga. They at uh, Ring Road. That Amboga has when they have not, you know, there was a business market there. So, so I saw the man, I called him, I said, I have body in my hand. He thought I want to buy a handkerchief. I said, No. But I am led to pray for you because the pastor here they say. He now asked me, Are you a pastor? I said, Maybe. Because then I was in our nation. I prayed for him, finished. He said, I told him one thing, God told him. I said, but I perceive that what, where you are now is not where you're supposed to be. Something happened. He says, it's all at the handwork of my father. I said, your father? I said, yes. How? Are you sure? Because not just you carrying news that you are not sure. He told me that the father happened to be a very hard native doctor. I himself started serving God at the early stage. And because of that, he and the father does not agree. The man told me that, can I believe that as early as 1980, he was into importation business. As at that time, he has about 1.6 million capital. 
1980. You know that time money? <laughs> I think even that time he said 504 never the rain, right? He said he was importing this cutlass. You know, I don't know what they call it. Cutlass. You know, there were people who are into it. By this time, they have already made their importation because of farming. He said he made that importation. The thing went down the river. And it didn't come out. That was where his problem started. And I said, okay, why did you call your father? He said he wanted to tell me that the father happened to be a demon. He said that the father traveled for seven years and returned before he become Duru. That strong native doctor. I said, travel to go here. <laughs> the man spent time, he gave me gist. If I, went, I was writing prayer point. He said the father, when he, they were small, wake up early morning and said that he wanted to work for his ancestors. That that's what they called him. They didn't understand. Imama didn't understand that he saw native doctor, they assembled themselves. And they gathered all the whole thing, give the papa basket, he marched him to the market. That day was a market day. And they, one of the native daughters called him, Mama said, don't expect your husband soon. He's about to travel. Now they look and say, who they travel? Now inside market, he went from travel. No carry bag. They rob him all the whole thing, they rob him all over his body. Kill all the whole beds and pour the blood on him. And we are singing the Jew uh, song. That was what they told the woman. The woman didn't understand what they mean. I said, serious, I said, yes. He said, they got, there's a tree inside the market in their village that they got there after making much incantation. They ordered the tree to open. The tree opened, the mapa entered. I'm telling you, life story. <laughs> you see, things they this life. And they came back and, st and they carried their bag, all of them said, he said, mama asked, he said, where my husband? He said, are you deaf? Who told you that this man is about to travel? He don't travel. We escort him travel. He entered, they ordered the wood to cover. People where the market run away. He said, they don't see their papa for seven years or more than. He said, one day, saw those native daughters, they surface again. Hey, what do you know they do here? He said, your papa, they come. He quits a guy me fegi o mancha, a guy ma dindo pisi alanyegi o nyaporo no kebo. He said they went back, and that day the king was also market day. They ordered the father to come out from the tree. Their papa came out <laughs> the same way. Where he tell we are clothed that years ago. He said that we are scared to go close. If now you go go close. That was how the man become demon. This man told me that the father have hair. He doesn't bob his hair. He said the father doesn't go to hospital for you to inject him. He said all the while he saw his father. If you enter any hospital, nurses will run. Because they know his story in the community. He said, because when he made money, he was going to church. He told his son, he said, this church where they go, one day you will tire. You will see what thing will make you tire. That was what he told him. He said, he did all. He said, even when he has problem with money, that Papa mocked him. He said, that was why he knew that the father's hand is in it. But he never bothered. He said, he told the father, he said, I can never bow down to what you worship. And he said, one the father say, they say, first time they carry what their father, he said, if you, your own, I go burn them before your eye. If I get the power, talk of when you have left. He said that was how your father become an enemy in the house. Though he respect him as a father. He said, look at the day he now noticed that the father was really an evil man, an evil man. That he was here. Somebody sent him a message. Who come from village? Say, Papa say, today, tomorrow, come home. Anybody I'm seeing now, let it be you. I am seriously sick. He said that Sunday, early morning, he took off from beneath here. Went to village to see the father the man they say he's serious was not that serious the way he expected he said his father was old but he was so younger than his own junior brother because they used to people heard this change somebody shall fire. fire now look at it i'm not here to preach i want to show you something and i'm here to pray for you this year nobody will use your head to extend their own 
Nobody will transact with your head. Nobody will use the head of your children to buy market. Somebody shall fire three times. Now, look at where the man narrated the story. I burst into prayer. He said that evening, he came back. He said their house, their, their father's house, is, there's a way they build. Both the papa's brothers, they build. But he said, but the center is always open. If they are doing anything, or in the evening like this, you see people, they gather at the center. He said it had been their normal way. You know? He said that evening, he just put seat at that outside there. He papa put seat for the front of his house. He now saw his own brother put seat. And they were hearing each other talking. He said, suddenly, give me a chair. Give me that chair. He said, Papa, while he was discussing, a brother they discuss, a Papa discuss, discuss, do like somebody who wants to slump from the chair. He said, his own brother, who was like this, because instead of receiving the mama, a Papa was like this, he said, his own brother, that's the Papa's junior brother, who is also an old man, rushed to help his brother. I said, what, what, what? He said, now nah, block and say, leave him. No, don't go there. He said, the papa way they fall. Come do like this. I said, nah, I'm with the guy can and come He no come grief for. He said, your witch don't, he tell the son, we go block a brother. We one can't help her. Because his brother said, he said, block him to brother. I said, leave him. If you want for, make it for. He papa way they fall. Come to I. They tell and say, your witch don't pass my own. That's to say the bang was. He said that was the night the Mapa sleep, he didn't wake up. And he said, anybody will help you, Papa, they get problem. Shout the father. I will not carry another man's load. I, I can't hear you. I was shouting, my father, my maker. I King Silly. In the name of Jesus. This year, 2023. I will not carry another man's load. And I will never pay for what I don't know. Open your mouth, pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sit down. He said that was how the father, when he talked that thing finished, he said his own brother was shocked. The man will be one fall. He no come for a rich ground again. He said that was how he sit up. So after the whole thing, his brother, his papa brother call and say, my brother come. Why did he do what he did? He said, I know your brother. If I did tell you, you won't believe. He said, because that one doesn't still go to church. If he's telling that one, that one said, hey, can it be that wicked? It was after the death of the father. That one knows, said this thing, Nari. He said, there was a day their father was sick. He rushed the papa go hospital. Out of here, reaching their nurses, tell and say, papa, may we give injection? He said, their papa no talk. They now ask and say, give him injection in the sick. They ask and say, you don't know your papa. He won't come try us. Now he go talk whether they go give him injection. And they now say and say, if they go give him injection, but not me, oh. They will ask who go fit give him. But the man was evil. Now, hear me, mama, I pray for your children. Nobody will send their star. Now, I saw something in this city where somebody dashed a small boy, 50 naira, and that thing messed up that child. He came back. He didn't see who gave him 50 naira. Mama said, who gave He said, one auntie told me to buy him pure water. Where now? They don't see him. That child started having problem. I told you one that happened one day. Two uh, ladies in one of the universities here, they were on the way. A man said, okay, are you going to school? Say yes. They entered. The man said, okay, wrap paper. He said, please. Help me pay this money into this account. About 8,000 naira. He said, now enter UBA to pay the account. They check and check. He said, there's no name, no account number like this. And this man, they don't know him. He now wrong, come, he wrong, have to leave the account. Baby. He said, Pastor, pray for me. Because he wanted to use that money to buy head. Look at my prayer for you. Nobody can use you to extend their life. Those who do money rituals, they can't use your head. They cannot use your children. If they try to do otherwise, they will die. 
Sit down. Now, let me talk about this. I don't have the whole time. Let me just give it to you. Another one I want to talk about marital extension. We are, ma we are women. M or let me call it men or women. Man or woman. Goes to native daughter to lock the other to give him attention. Do you know what it means? Some people, even you, you do marry some people. I have treated that case, not one, not two. There's one that happened here. One of the. The lady said he doesn't go to church. He saw a woman in, in a funeral who was rushing and is an old friend. They greeted. I said, where are you rushing this morning? When is it? He said, I do go to one fellowship because she's not even a member. That, that her friend. And he asked her, and I asked her one day, you, which church do you have? He said, I don't go to church. My husband don't allow me because she, that lady married a native doctor. He said, my husband don't allow me. He said, okay, but let's go today. Now, hence, you don't go on Sunday. At least this one, what do you come? He said, he came to buy something. He said, let's go to church. If they finish, you go to market. That was how two of them came. While the prayer was going on, God told me and said, there's a lady here, they use charm to marry you. But today, the charm don't fade. Remind something they happen, no? On Thursday, I got a call. Whether that, the other woman gave her my number. He called me and said, you are the pastor we attend the fellowship yesterday. He said, yes. He said, you said something. And when you said it, it I was like someone who was deaf before. It was like breeze enter my ear. I began to hear well. He said, but I managed to reach home, but I can't understand. My. He said, yes, since yesterday now. He said, now this morning is done on me. I said, what is the problem now? Are you the sick? He said, I don't know where they are. He said, they asked this man here, what am I doing here? Say the man, they tell him, I'm your wife. He said, I'm asking this smelly man, this smelly old wretched woman, be, what am I doing here? She was talking and crying. And I said, but you know, marry you. He said, Pastor, I'm living in Europe. I don't know how I got here. I already have two children. And I told her to come. It was at last when somebody brought her, told me that he went there to go look for help where he wanted to travel back to Europe. Native daughter come like and change her mind. He no pay that in the outside. Oh, there was a woman who ran here one of the Tuesday. Somebody carry and come from one of the uh, community. They came for counseling. He said, he, even he didn't have number. The way he was crying, I said, okay, mama, let me see. He said, the daughter came back from Europe, from Germany. One week, they were looking for her. They didn't see her. They reported everywhere. Suddenly, one of the friends said, let's go to Oluku side. That I saw your daughter. Now, people who are sitting there, nobody that. He said, okay. They went there. He said, they were sitting across. They were personally explained to her. He said they sat across the road. They look, they look, they look. Suddenly, under one mango, where they build a butcher. The man tired, the tired, black for waste. He see, say, we are his daughter. They hold the man for cloth like this. They walk out. They call him, honey, honey, honey. He said, now he call him by her name. He said, no, even turn. He said, they ask the man, the native daughter, who are those people? Now, I said, now your mama. You don't know your mama. He said, I don't know you. I don't know you. Mama cry, come here. I said, please help me. He said, my own daughter, you have been looking for her. This is her first time coming to Nigeria for after eight years. He they asked me, who are you? Old woman. He said, he said, Nadia, no, say this, this thing pass, be careful. He go follow native daughters, he down for the shrine. Because he don't twist the thing. And I pray for you as a woman here. Any girl out there who will do charm, they turn your husband's face. I pray for you, mama. Any girl there who will twist your son's face, not to remember family. I wish I can hear fire three times. Now let me tell you, this kind of wickedness is common now. Where you see young girls practicing marine, using mystical power to command men. Most of the things you see in social media is not ordinary hand. Some men are under spell. They don't know what they are doing. Because they have used do as I command. So the man don't become a sore. We say he want a house, he buy a house. We say he need a car. He can even go and sell only property half to make that girl happy. Because he's under spell. Rise up, shall the father. I want, if you are here, let me hear your voice. Shall father. Any man or woman in my family, under spell. As I begin to pray. I release you now by fire or your prayer.
Declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. I repeat, nobody will use your star to transact. Nobody will use your certificate to transact. Neither can they use your head. Shout the blood of Jesus very loud and clear. There are some people today. That lady later came. He was crying. He said, in Europe are there. I don't know how I got there. It was the friend who was narrating what happened before they started looking for her. Find out that he was married. But you cannot go there and bring her back. Even when they called police, the lady told police, said, he didn't kidnap me. He's my husband. Police will go now. They told the family, said, don't disturb this man and this woman. They are in love. When they check her document, document don't expire. Because you don't burn through here. The lady, they cry. He said, thank God they bring me to church. Oh. That's why you see some of them know the lady are why come church. Because you go spoil the thing where they did. I know a woman who do come to this church, the husband and her, her native daughter, tell her, I say, find out that church, but not be that one. Stretch your hand, shall the father. I connect power. I didn't hear. Shall the father. Anything in my life. Contrary to your word, I terminate it now. There are times, even some of your family members who don't remember you. A woman cried to me when I went to Anabra State. He, he gave birth to a son who is a medical doctor. And when he reached, even the boy told the mother, said, I will travel out to do my advanced courses before I will come back for marriage. And he started practicing mercy. But one day, he came back and told him, Mama, he said, I want to marry. Mama said, this is not what we planned. This is not what he told your father. Because the father and the mother, they are lecturers. He said, we'll ask you. He said, no. he said but I suddenly changed my mind. Okay, when are you married? He said, any moment from now. Mama said, what? You have not showed us who you want to marry. Because the father told him and said, because the father has money, he said, I will be the one that will handle your marriage when you are said. That's what I promised you. As my first son. The boy said, no, don't marry for me. Okay, bring the girl. He said, no, you don't need to see the girl. Whether you like the girl, you don't like the girl. Mama said, who, who is talking? And he said, Mama said, what pains me is that of all the whole children, this is the first son. He's more loyal to him and the son, father. He said, but now this marriage of a teen. He they talk. He said, one day, Papa, Mama said, if you want to still be my mother, remove hand from my marriage. He said, the girl, where he brings her, and I said, they, work, they do like this. They tell them, say, we want to die. Make it die. Because Chingon don't hold the man. <laughs> Mama cried. He said, how can I labor like this? He said, you know what it takes to train a child? He read medicine, come out as a doctor, and he's practicing. From nowhere, she now wants to dominate. I'm telling you. I come, Mama, I say, don't worry. This thing. He said, Pastor, no, you know, get high. You want to pray. No, no, I say, it may not be automatic. But one day it goes for But Mama, eh? I pray may that woman survive that thing. You know that most mothers are more, too fond of their first son. Go the, the mama, they cry. He said, I called my son. He said, my son, no, they hear my word again. In school, you know, disobey. When you're supposed to disobey, it didn't, now, now. He told the mama, I said, I love you, but if you talk, and he said, any day we call the name of that girl. He told mama, don't talk anything rubbish. Show. I'll walk away when the day of the marriage introduction, Papa said, You know, they go, you go carry people outside. I want you to know the level of it. He said, The girl told the Papa, Mama said, Plus you, minus you, this marriage go home. So, Chingong, we hold up, not be here, not super glue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he told. And true, true. The day of introduction, the Papa said, I'm not going. Because he believed that this is where I will show myself. He go outside, go carry some people. And reach there and our family where they see, they don't even care who be papa. Now every parent is here, pray, shall the father. father. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. No amount of charm yeah. will destroy my work. Will destroy my effort as a mother. Yeah. Now you are going to pray. We are going to call the name Jesus three times. You are going to pray for your children. 
Nobody, no charm, no amount of charm will catch them. Shout that name, Jesus, three times. Let's go. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for your children. Pray for your siblings. No charm will walk in their life. In Jesus' mighty name. One of the lecturers, one of the universities this way. I was a the early stage of this ministry. Sit down, sit down. I know some of you cannot stand too long. I was here, somebody came, a woman came, called my line, and he got to, that, that day was not counseling, the early stage of this ministry. He, he was saying, my husband abandoned me, abandoned me, and the, the two, I had two or three children. He, was, he said, he don't care about us. He, I said, like that, he said, yes. He said, pastor, they told me that if you pray, this man will be back. That's why we have to travel down here. I said, today, we want command fire, we want command thunder. The man will not sleep until remember you and the children. In the same way, he said, he told me. He said, even, I have told myself, even though the distance is, I will be coming from there, the con church. I have already declared my membership. I said, okay, no problem. When she knelt down, maybe we pray. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus. I heard God say, ask her, number what? Number what? I said, sister, no verse. You be, the man married before you. You be first, I'll be second. He said, uh, he, listen, he, he, he was my lecturer. You understand? Lecturer marriage. Lecture, lecture, cross boundary. And he said, but the man loved me so much because God showed me that he used something to tie the man, but the thing lose. So he can't they look for prayer. We want to tie her now. He said, the old woman, the first one, I they call the old woman. Has collected the other. I don't even talk about me. I say, I say now who gets something? I collect tobacco. He said, my pastor, but you pray. I know your prayer. I trust your prayer today. <laughs> he said, they told me that if you pray, the man will be answered. Hallelujah. I said, but the man does he care for the children? He said, he said, he do send money that guy. He don't even care about it. I said, the man they try. He said, but at the time he doesn't even say. I said, God will help you. Have you not graduated? He said, yes. And that's why he no come off for campus. <laughs> he said the man find house where they are living and he's taking good care of the children, even the car, even the driver. He said, well, I said the man never do rich for you. I said, who get, the, who get husband, don't collect him back. Her, her legs strong for ground. Maybe that woman is a prayer warrior. He said, I saw me talk. I said, yes. I said, okay, I'll pray for you. God will give you grace to carry this load. He no say amen again. He said, I said, father, help her. Give her grace to be a single mother, a good single mother. In Jesus' name we pray. She didn't look at me like this. I said, Amen. I said, God will help you. These children, they have destiny, they will fulfill their destiny. God will help them. No mind the man. Whether he come in, no come, they will survive. He said, You don't pray, finish. I said, Yes. I said, See you in church tomorrow. He said, eh. <laughs> That was where I lose one of the member. He no come again. He no come. <laughs> no come see my member. We don't declare membership from distance. Stretch your hand. I pass the decree. No man will use to do power to spoil your own. Any attempt of such, it will backfire. Do you know how time people exchange people start? People exchange people's blessing. People exchange people's glory. Shout it, my blessing is not for exchange. Shout it, no man will exchange my glory. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear your amen? amen? But look at one word I want to tell you then before I make my conclusion this morning. Sit down. Is this, even though they plan it, it's not every plan, witchcraft plan that succeeds. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look at those two women. The two of them, let, I, I told you yesterday, I can decide two of them are two witches in the same coven who believe in one thing, who have been doing it before and they promise that they will use their own children to extend their life. The first one brought, but the second one changed his mind. No be because say the second one no be witch again, but I believe there is grace upon the life of that son that did not allow him to her to succeed. 
So bear it in mind, wherever you are hearing me this year, nobody will transact with your head. Even if they plan it. Even if they plan it. I pray for a pastor. Somebody use the calling of God in her life to transact. Things, they happen. He came to see me from one of the states. He said, I was doing well in ministry. As I began to pray, as I started praying for him, the Lord showed me that in the dream, he was in a dream. A woman carried some for ground, poor for eye. And he was scratching the eye. He shouted, he said, Pastor, now you see my problem. I didn't want to talk about this. I said, why? He said, even till now, that eye still they scratch me. He said, that was where I lost the gift of vision and revelation. He said, for dream. A woman declined, said, hey, they make He said, that time the ministry was heavy. People were getting blessed. God will show us, show him something. Don't, want, don't, don't mind, leave, make the team break. So far, your destiny walk out. He said, in that dream, the woman bent down like this, carried sand for her eye like this, for his eye. He said, he scratched that eye till he woke up. He said, that was where he lost vision. People go bring problem, come to church as they come before, no result. People come, they go. Church that have grown up to a thousand, reduced to below 50. And I asked him, said, well, did you notice the face? He said, yes, that woman was like a member. That the face he saw was a member. And after I put on that sign, now that day, now you don't see the woman again. Five. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said. That was what, he, he, he messed up the, the man's destiny. Hey? I saw another one I prayed for. A woman used gift to take cage the man, man of God. And when he gave and gift, he told the man of God, say, as long as that gift I gave it to you, you're on the altar. He said, I am in charge. Now the pastor carried the gift to give and he said, I no collect. So far, he don't collect, he don't collect. He told the pastor, say, I am the one who decides what happened in this church. Which is get level low. He gets some witches where they fly, they hide. And he gets some where they fly for afternoon. They know they look. I don't know the type where they're your family. Whether or not the one where they hide or the one where they come off. Rise or holla fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a seat in your hand. Now pray, shout the Father. Anyone on evil assignment to mess up my glory, to waste my happiness. As I drop this seed, I terminate their evil assignment. I, I can't hear your voice. Shout it. Father, Father, any man or woman on evil mission to spoil my glory, to mess up my life. As I drop this seed, I command judgment. Whatever their program against my life, by fire! Oh, yeah, pray. As you do that, come and lay your seed on the altar. Thank you, Lord. Now I begin to declare every of my blessing in another person's hand, I collect it back. Whatever that belongs to me that somebody is holding, physically or spiritually, I collect it back. In Jesus' name we pray. Now look at my declaration. Even though you are a mother here, you have a son who abandoned you because of marriage. I lift up my hand on this altar. If there is any trace of evil power, as we thunder amen, like as a family, we command that power to die. <laughs> have you not seen some family? They have brothers, but the moment they marry, turn back against the family. Because somebody is holding him, cap holding him captive. Switch your hand toward this other. I join faith. Anyone in your family that is under spare, that somebody has caged, whether man or woman, somebody shall fire three times. I decree and declare. As you thunder him very loud and clear, we will liberate them. And I pray for you. Those who are your helpers in business, in what you do, that people use power, they change their mind. As you turn that element three times, we'll release them again. I 
pray for you as a lady. Whoever God has made for you as a husband, but somebody use power, change it. Today, I break that barrier. Nobody will use your business to exchange. Nobody will use your certificate to exchange. I know a lady who went for school who, who did nothing. Who, who, well, he, he went to school very well and did well. Came out with the highest certificate, but yet he cannot work. Look for work, even 15,000 naira work he didn't get. We started praying. We discovered that it was the grandmother that was using the certificate in the coffin. I pray for you. Nobody will use your certificate. She didn't believe it until when she still prayed, entered dry fasting, God revealed to her that it was the mother that was using the, the certificate to practice nursing in the Kofu. And the mama no go to school for physical. It was after that prayer that something happened. Not just that the mama confessed. All the application he wrote more than two, three years ago, all the whole doctor, nurse, hospitals were calling her. But this somebody who went to private looking for a job of 15,000 just because she was almost frustrated. I pray for you. Your document, your certificate, any valuable thing in your life that the enemy have exchanged. As you turn that amen I release it back. Open your two hands. Tell God, reposition my destiny. Rearrange my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. No man will change what belongs to me. See what I want you to do? This night, take like three different denominations of currency. I know we have about eight denominations in Nigeria, but take like three. Pray on it. Tell God, anybody around me who don't like my blessing, any step they would take, to spoil it, let that step backfire. Because I'm seeing somebody who is not happy around you. He's not happy. He's like whatever, anything around you, is, he's always, she's always intimidated. But pray that prayer so that he cannot spoil money in your hand. I decree favor. I decree protection. What God has given to you, no woman like you will spoil it. Thank you, Father. So when you finish that prayer, you go bring that money to me, I will lay hand on it, you will return it back to business. Did you have oil here? Anointing oil. Give me, let me pray. Because I want you to still go back to your workshop and pour this oil. Because I see at times things will pick up. At the time it will cut off like Nepa. It will cut off completely. Huh? Even now. It just like it sees like we are saying. And there was a time people were just coming. Like that. <laughs> the thing will cease. Go to altar pray. The prayer you pray is that anybody who vowed to frustrate you there, anybody who don't want you to be there, who believe you are making much without knowing how much you have, I want you to pray. Whatever step you are taking to frustrate me, let it be fine. I'm going to pray. Now the prayer you will pray, the second part of it, you will anoint, as you finish this service, you go to workshop there. Pour it where you normally keep your tools. Huh? Because I feel there was a time you are feeling somehow in your leg. Because they came there and dropped something for you. Your right leg. Yeah. Come to altar, go to altar pray. Thank you, sir. Remind, I pray for you. Nobody will lock you out. Yeah. I didn't like your amen. Stretch your hand. Now, for that business, for that shop, for that your office, nobody will lock you out. Yeah. You watching me there, nobody will lock you out. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. 